Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Sherina Wahid with the top news of the day. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina urged expatriate businessmen to invest in Bangladesh. Speaking at the inaugural function of the Bangladesh Investment Conference and a roadshow in London, she stated a separate economic zone would be allocated in Sylhet for UK businessmen if necessary. On the occasion, Sheikh Hasina called upon British investors to be partners in the development of Bangladesh. Law, Justice and Parliamentary Affairs Minister Anisul Haq said the allegation for the death sentence was carried out before hearing the appeals of two accused in a murder case in Chuadanga was incorrect. He made the remarks while talking to the reporters at his office in the Secretariat on Thursday. Anisul said their appeals were heard. They had jail appeals, which were also heard. They were also given the right to beg for their lives after the prison appeal hearing. The accused were hanged after the president rejected their request. In a murder case in Chuadanga, two accused named Zoru and Maki were sentenced before their regular appeals were settled, their lawyer alleged. However, the application of the two accused of the appeal division has come to the agenda, which created a fog in the matter. Home Minister Asul Zaman Khan Kamal said steps are being taken to curb the misuse of the Digital Security Act. He added that this law will be verified before the case is filed. Kamal made the remarks to reporters at the office in the Secretariat today. Violence is ongoing surrounding the UP election. Also on Thursday, three people were killed in a clash between two member candidate supporters in Noshindi. The Election Commission expressed the concern over the issue. Chief Election Commissioner K. M. Nurul Huda said that intelligence surveillance was detected to stop the violence in the Union Porishad elections. The Truck Covered Van Owners Association has announced to stop the transportation of goods across the country if the price of fuel oil is not reduced within 24 hours. The announcement was made in Thursday. Meanwhile, the Truck Covered Van Tanker and Lorry Owner and Workers Coordinating Council called for a continuous strike in protest of the diesel price hike. Earlier, transport owners and workers announced to stop all types of transport, including buses, trucks from Friday due to non-adjustment of fares due to increase in fuel prices in Russia. Bangladesh lost to Australia for eight wickets. In the Super 12 match of the T20 World Cup, Aussies surpassed the usual target of 74 runs given by the Tigers by losing only two wickets. The Tigers continued their losing streak after losing the toss at the Dubai International Cricket Stadium. Bangladesh lost the wickets of Eliton Shoma and Mushfikur by just 10 runs in the control bowling of Aussie bowlers. After nine return for 19, Shamim and Mahmudullah tried to put up some resistance. However, after they lost the wickets, the rest of the procession helped rise to 73 runs for Team Bangladesh. Jampa took five wickets for just 19 runs in reply. Also reached the brink of victory with the batting of two openers. That is all the news for today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.